guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which I am so excited to be filming. Today I'm going to be cooking some of my most favorite family recipes for Shabbat dinner and I'm also going to be being joined by Sarah from the Family Cookbook. So what Sarah does is she photographs families creating their traditional recipes and then she creates a cookbook for them um, as a way to preserve the memories of their family recipes and create this beautiful curated keepsake to have forever. So I'm so excited to have Sarah here not only to capture me and my family making these recipes and to make this cookbook for us but also to share it with you guys because it's such a beautiful gift and one that I think you guys would be really interested in. So let's get started. It is the morning here and we are just prepping the kitchen and waiting for Sarah to arrive. And yes, I hope you guys like this video. Yes, the babies are here. Um, if you do, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And also definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of Sarah's photos because I'll definitely be posting them all there. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so it's pretty early in the morning here and Sarah's gonna be here soon, but I just wanna show you guys how I prepped the kitchen to get ready. We got the baby over there having breakfast. Um, I've got some ingredients and supplies out for the two first recipes we're gonna be making. One is my challah for Shabbat recipe and another is my um, cupcake recipe. And then I just tried to clean and declutter the kitchen a little bit so it looks nice and have a few things out ready to go for some recipes so yeah it's very nice to see the kitchen looking nice and i just got some flowers i haven't put them in a vase yet but i'll see what sarah thinks i should do with them maybe just leave them in this picture i think they look nice <laughs> so that's the kitchen all ready to go and then i'll show you guys um some other family stuff that we took out for the photo shoot so I just took out old family photos and some old cookbooks because there's some recipes in here that I want her to photograph. So I'll just show those to her and let her pick. And then also some um, family Judaica and stuff that we use for Shabbat that I want to make sure um, we get photos of. So Sarah arrived and the first recipe I started working on is my challah recipe. I wanted to capture all of our special recipes for a Shabbat dinner. That was kind of my theme for the cookbook. We also included lots of recipes from other holidays, but I wanted to make sure Shabbat was really covered. So we started with the challah. This is a recipe I've shared before on my channel many times. I'll link it again. It's really simple to make. Anyone can do it, I promise. And it's great for making different shapes with the challah. So if you like breeding interesting designs and being creative, I love Love this recipe for that um, so we got the kids involved and really all you need is flour sugar eggs um, yeast you know just classic easy challah recipes things um, so as you can see Sarah was really fun to work with this is drag racing cream drag racing we have regular cream and drag racing and we really relaxed with the boy. She even took pictures of Max's cars, which was so sweet. Um, next up was my mom's chicken recipe. I think I've shared this one as well. I'll, again, I'll put um, all the recipes in the description below, but we call it salad dressing chicken. It's the easiest thing in the world. All you need is oil and Italian salad dressing, the one that's not um, creamy, just the oil Italian. And that's it. You just pour it over the chicken and put it in the oven. So I really wanted to capture, even though it was such a simple recipe, it's my mom's classic and I love it. The next thing we got to baking are my grandmother's cupcakes. So this is one of those recipes that my mom made every you know year for birthdays and special occasions. I can whip it up without the recipe even because I've made it so many times myself. It's called the quick and delicious cupcake recipe and it's really easy to make. So we're about halfway through our little cooking morning here. We've done our challah dough, our cupcakes, and some chicken. And I'll just give you guys a little uh, sneak peek of what we got going on. <laughs> so right now we're lining the cupcake tin. Garrett's here yeah. taking the pictures of it. So at this point, my challah dough had risen enough and it was time to braid it. All I did is divide it into three even pieces and roll them out. Then I brought my son over and got him to help me a little bit with the braiding. Mostly he just watched, but it was really cute. I wanted to get the boys involved as much as I could um, and just capture them, kind of experience making these recipes with me. 
Okay, so we're almost done. We finished up the challah, the cupcakes, and the chicken. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. And then we have our bubby here. We're gonna do some older family recipes. I'm not gonna film that, but you guys will see them in the photos, so they'll be nice. And yeah, I'll just give you guys a sneak peek of the challah. So then my mother-in-law came over and she was making her classic matzo ball soup recipe, which is what you see on the stove top. And then in the oven, we've got the chicken and the challah. So it's like a full Shabbat dinner, ready to go and it smelled so, so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what the hollow looks like when it's come out of the oven. It was so beautiful and you can tell it's homemade, which is what I like about it. And the last thing we did was sprinkle some sprinkles on my favorite cupcakes. Hey guys, so I'm here with Sarah. We actually just finished our shoot. It went so, so well. So I want Sarah to introduce herself and what she does a little bit so you guys can find out more. Hi guys, I'm Sarah Yeoman, creator of The Family Cookbook. I create custom cookbooks that document family food traditions and family recipes. Um, basically, what you just saw with Marion is exactly what I do. I come into your home and I photograph you and your family cooking together and then I take your family recipes and all of your favorite images that we made during our session and I put them into a beautiful heirloom cookbook book that you can pass on to the next generation. Um, so that's basically what I do, and I had so much fun with Marion. <laughs> How did we do? Did we I think okay. you guys did great. Wait, and Sarah actually tasted some of the food, so tell them honestly, yes. was it good? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I'm like, I have to say, I have chosen a very well-fed uh, profession, um, and your kids were great. I love Aww. everybody was just so relaxed and just themselves, Yeah, which we is honestly had so much fun this morning. It was a real treat. My husband stayed home from work for a little bit, yeah. so it was just really nice. So thank you so much, Sarah, for being here. I will put all of Sarah's details and links below. I have a offer code for you, which I will put on the screen and link below. Thank you. Okay, so that was a few weeks ago. It's kind of crazy how much has changed in those few weeks as that was um, the very first week of March. I think maybe even March 1st or 2nd that Sarah was at my house. And that was before the whole world changed. But I'm so thankful that she was able to come and photograph that for us and to capture those memories and those traditions and my family's recipes even the family members that couldn't be there and just capture all of that for me is just especially now so heartwarming I know there's so many moms out there for Mother's Day who would just appreciate a gift like this so much it's definitely something that's expensive and heirloom quality and I totally understand that um, but I know it's something that I'll treasure my whole life long and on that note let's open it up and see it <laughs> so yeah this arrived I have not seen it yet this is the beautiful box it comes in. Oh, it's in this cloth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a whole gift box, Sarah. Oh my God, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna read the card. Oh my, this is so sweet, especially at this time where finding these things is near impossible. Okay, and here it is. Here is the cookbook. So me and Sarah went over the design. Um, online to make sure it's exactly what I wanted. She designed everything and get all the recipes right and then I just like went over it. So I've seen it digitally but of course this is my first time seeing it in person. Oh my goodness. I almost want to stop recording and just look at this for a little while. It's so beautiful. And the quality of the paper. Oh my goodness. Okay let me show you guys and then and then I can spend <laughs> the rest of the afternoon looking at it. So I'm just gonna flip through so you can see. So we got all the amazing pictures she took in here. And then um, all of our family recipes she digitized for us. So we were able to capture them. I love, it's just so amazing to have this. And then um, this is a page I wanted to make sure to include. It says family is the sweetest thing of all. And this is from our wedding. We wanted to make sure to capture um, some of the folks who weren't able to be at the photo shoot, like my sister and sister-in-laws and all of that. And then this is the last page. May life always be this sweet and delicious. I love it. Thank you so much, Sarah. There's the book. Thank you so much, Sarah, for this beautiful book. I am going to put all the details for how you can reach Sarah, how you can get her to make your own cookbook and take photographs of your family. I'll have a code for you guys to use as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy some of my family recipes and got some ideas and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.